Hey guys, welcome to Margarita Says. How are you? I'm going to talk about Gary Steingart. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm sorry if I don't. Uh, I enjoy watching different YouTube videos and recently I came across Gary's video, his recent book, Super Sad Love Story, and I'm reading it now. However, at the time when I watched this video, I had no idea what it was about. Um, and then I came across this video of Gary Steingart at uh, Google's Authors and I watched it and I was very, very intrigued and I'd like to share with you my thoughts and tell you a little bit about the book. I'm reading it now, but I, I haven't finished it yet. So I thought, you know, I've seen the book in the stores and Barnes and Nobles and I thought Super Sad Love Story was just a love story, uh, which is true. However, it is no ordinary love story. It's a reflection on our possible future world. It's um, a little bit science fiction, um, but not really. I think it's more like a philosophical, uh, philosophical book that reflects on, uh, on our lives and uh, fears and uh, the world that we live right now. Um, for example, in the story, no one speaks full sentences anymore and people are illiterate and social media just took over our lives and it it's just like in Orwell's novel 1984 where everybody knows everything about each other but we don't need any more big brother instead it's just uh, we we know about each other just through social media because everyone posts everything about themselves voluntarily and saying uh, I just ate a tuna sandwich on Twitter or I just got married I just had a kid or who, you know, I just had an affair with so-and-so. So everybody knows about each other just from social media. And um, there's a social media site in the book called Global Teens. It's sort of like Facebook, and it encourages people to communicate just with pictures. For example, for example, like Instagram. And it says, less words, more fun. So people uh, cannot even write anymore in full sentences. It's just more like LOL and just all abbreviations and that's how people talk and i see it's happening now and in the future there would be no more jobs left except media credit and sales and the united states will become a third world country and um, gary talked about that we live in a world of self-expression where people especially in, in the united states where people tell you on twitter what they ate for lunch and everyone is an author but there are less and less readers and it raises the question of who's going to read your book and see your artwork because everyone wants to be an artist and not the audience and gary mentioned that even now we have a very bad economy yet um where gary teaches at columbia university there's so many people applying for the MFA writing program, creative writing program, and no, and very little people applying, very few people applying to the English, to study English. So just everybody wants to be an author, and it's grown exponentially and tremendously. And also, uh, you know, education in the United States is very expensive, and if we will go at this rate, um, we will be left behind because in the United States, we charge a lot of money for our education and your loan is never forgiven. You have to repay whether it's $200,000, $300,000. And then other countries offer their citizens education for free and they promote it and they support it. For example, when I was reading a book by Michael Lewis and he was writing about uh, Iceland, in Iceland, they pay you to study. And therefore, a lot of people in Iceland are very educated and a lot of people have multiple PhDs and people are could be like a financial advisor plus a poet plus an artist. And I also think by making it hard to survive and making money our ruler, we are giving up creativity and progress because studies have shown that greater development happens in more stable economies and where there's not too much pressure to make money to survive and there's not too much gap between super rich and super poor. 
um, I do not want the USA to become a country in like Gary's book and I hope we will support education and not cha charge crazy amounts for education and turn it into a very profitable business we need to become a socially mobile country again and we need to invest in our future gener generations otherwise we will be left behind in the future where the government forgives financial institutions for selling bed mortgages bid mortgages loans and deriv derivatives and very complicated derivatives and yet student loans are never forgiven so if we bail out these huge banks uh, while they are literally gambling with uh, with taxpayers money and with people's money and yet well, student loans are never forgiven and the future is changing now so fast every year it's a new life new technology new changes therefore whatever you're writing today in a book is no more relevant in a year from now or even sooner if so things are changing. So I thought it was a very interesting point and um, I'm very scared about being East Coast, West Coast, being these very elite sort of states and then middle of America left behind where we just, you know, we don't care because we, uh, we only promote uh, whatever makes money and I don't think that's the right Situ I don't think that's the right situation now. I don't think that's the right position because we need to we need to encourage our people and we need to support our people and we should have higher standards for our people and not sort of lower the standards and make it like super easy and and just make it all about how much money you have. Um, I just um, I don't want the United States to become a third world country and, and actually in Gary's book uh, you know people came to the United States to to sort of to for a better life to to search for a dollar and God and then they would leave United States also because we're all about credit and what's your credit rating and it's all about money and so I'm reading a book I'm enjoying it very much and um, yeah so I hope you will check it out